Hello and welcome. Today I'd like to show you how to recover from any ransomware attack or even attack to your backup storage and how to restore data even if your backups are encrypted or deleted by an attacker. So first of all, to give you an overview of what I will do. So first of all, I prepared an infrastructure which comes with a file on one side. So simple network share on a Windows server. We got a backup server here, a Veeam backup, and we got a target for our backups, a backup repository as a NAS volume. So what we will do is we will start with deletion or encryption of data on the NAS target in order to remove any valid backup. Since when all backups are removed, it is easier to attack the filer and there is no way back. So first of all, we encrypt all the NAS data, then we jump over to the filer, encrypt all the data there. And then in the end, we got a situation where we cannot get out of anymore in the usual scenario. But in our case, we got the continuous snapshot feature on our performance silent brick flash. So what we will do is we will mount this continuous snapshot virtually, mount it to our VM server, and then start the restore job from this continuous snapshot. So first of all, let's assume we comprised the infrastructure. So we have access to the VM backup server which is great because now we can find out which machines exist and we can find out where the backup target is. All right, here we go. So what we can see now is that we got a backup job, which is running constantly as it seems. We can double check the settings. Let's see what machines are so important here. Oh, we got a virtual machine, it's called generic Windows Server. We'll connect to that one later. And everything goes to a volume that is called Backup to Silent Brick. Backup repositories, and we got our Backup to Silent Brick. And here we got the IP and the path. Let's see if we can connect to this. If we are lucky, there is no specific user, or the user is the same as we are locked in at the moment. Okay, here we got a user. That is very good because actually now um, it's a little bit harder for me to find out which user it is. Anyway, since I'm in this infrastructure long enough and I gathered a lot of credentials, I know exactly what to enter here. Here we go. Well, now that we found our backup, um, we can decide if we want to encrypt it or if we want to delete it. So actually, since we got plenty of data here, I guess the encryption would take a very long time. So just to make it faster, I will just delete all of this data. Bye bye. Well, wow, that was fast. All of our backups are gone now. So the next step is let's jump over to the file server and start encrypting all the data. So welcome to the file server. We found out the name via um, our Veeam server. Uh, now we just got to find out where all the shared files are. Oh, you can see. We got some pictures. Oh yeah, that is good. And they're all situated in C file share. Well, that is easy. Let's go there. File share. Oh yeah, we got some random data. We got some videos as well. Images. Mm -hmm. Silent brick images. Let's see if we can open that. For example, the warm. Yeah, that looks good. 
That is definitely a brick. Oh, perfect. So everything is readable. Got some videos here as well. Music. Okay, interesting, interesting. Our target is C file share. So let's open up the PowerShell. And let's start encrypting all the data that we find here. Let me just prepare a script. And here we go. So we got C file share. We take a certificate, which I actually prepared. Um, and we will use this certificate to encrypt all the content that is in this um, directory file share, recursively for sure, so that in the end all the data is encrypted with the certificate where only I know the key of. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's lean back and get a coffee. Well, so yesterday we stopped with encrypting all the data on our file server. We deleted the backups before. And since the encryption took way longer than expected, um, I let it run overnight. So today, as you probably mentioned, the desktop wallpaper has gone, since um, the wallpaper is also situated in the file shares folder. And, well, let's assume we are the administrator and we got a report that certain files are not retrievable. So we double check this and jump back into some images, like for example, the JPEG here. So it says it cannot read it since the format is not supported. Um, well, basically data is encrypted. So for example, we had that warm picture yesterday. It says the same in German language actually. But anyway, so all the data is encrypted now. Um, also check this here. So all the data is encrypted. Um, so the first thing that I would do as an administrator is I would double check my backup. So here we got the backup. As it seems, it is um, currently running. So let's double check what is happening here. Our backup is running. But um, since I set up my notifications correctly, I will most probably know that my backups failed for many times now, actually since the modification of yesterday. So we tried it each single hour and he always failed since um, it says file doesn't exist and he cannot open the storage. So, so first of all, log into the Silent Brick system. If everything is set up correctly, um, then this login should um, get a very, very hard to guess password and it should also be enabled the two-factor authentication. So to make sure that an attacker cannot administrate your Southern Brick system. So here we got our VM backup repository. The VM backup repository um, holds a lot of data. So as you can see, things are happening here. So we can see that today in the morning, you always try to write some, some blocks of data, but there's only some few megabytes. So probably just a config backup or something. And if we have a look for the long term, if we double check the long term here, you can see that um, the last full backup, as it seems, happened yesterday at around two o'clock. So, I guess it would be good to restore the backup from 2 o'clock or at least from um, from the time before, so probably 1 o'clock. So what we do now is we go to General and say provide snapshot as a volume. 
With this button, he will start up um, a previously created snapshot or a continuous snapshot as a virtual volume, which is mounted as a read-only volume, where you can restore data from. So let's say from date and time, or by date and time. We choose yesterday, and we say it's around 1 p.m. So he offers us 12 or 1 p.m. So 12 o'clock um, would be a little bit too early. Let's take the one at 1 p.m. And give it a valid name for sure. So he creates the snapshot volume here. It is immediately online. So we just need to add another share. I leave this share public to make it easier. Call it backup repo restore. And now we connect it to Weem. So we go to backup infrastructure, backup repositories and add a new one. Network attached, SMB share. Sign and break restore, let's call it this way. And And if we did everything correctly, you should find some backups now on this sign and break restore mount path. Yeah, you found one repository. That is actually a nice feature that all the metadata is um, written together with the backup files, so you can always restore and recover from any old backup that you find. Great unencrypted. All right. Let's go back to home. He found some imported backup files. So let's say um, we want to restore guest files or we want to create an instant recovery. In our case, we create an instant recovery because we want to get up and running as fast as possible. We restore the machine to the original location, so just overwrite it. So if that works, we did actually restore a previous backup from the snapshot logic. We started up this um, this old backup and recreate our machine to a state prior to the attack. So our machine is started up, is running in instant recovery mode. So let's see if we can connect to it now. That looks good. So it has just started up. As you can see, um, he's opening up the server management dashboard. Oh, the background, the wallpaper has reappeared. So let's see. Here we got these images again in C file share. Oh yeah. Let's double check that all the files are here, images. Some wallpaper, that looks good. Um, check the silent brick images before, as far as I remember, it was the warm one. Yeah, that looks great. So, as a summary, we first of all created an infrastructure, including a file server, a backup server, and a backup target. Then we started deleting all the backups on the backup target 
after the backup was running for a certain period of days. Then we started encrypting all the data on the file server to end up in a situation where we didn't have any backup anymore and all the source data was encrypted. As the next step, we connected to the Southern Brick system and restored a previous continuous snapshot, mounted it read-only, connected it to Veeam and restored all of our data.